When we first built the barn, we had the option to add gutters, but we thought it would be too expensive. So we were gonna do it later, I guess. But this started happening, started getting worse, especially in this corner in the sheep pen. So we decided to look into it and it's actually only about $150 for this whole side. And of course we can't do anything without the supervision of somebody. So the turkeys were here. Thought this was a pretty cool view. So the buck pins to the left and then the goats. And here's the sheep with the chicken coo. And the garden, which I can't wait to get busy in. I'm already doing some things I'll show you later. And then the corrals over there with Katniss down there. Ruby's on supervisor duty. Here's all the gutter sections put up. Those brackets just clip onto the inside of the gutter and then you screw it into the roof. Uh, we still have to put the little mi middle connectors in with some glue and then the downspouts. Here's those seam connector things. I just put glue on each side of them. I put it over that seam and then there's a piece I have to fold over at the back and I put a line of glue on the inside too. And here's the downspouts. We're still trying to figure out if we want a rain catchment system, probably because we don't know where we're going to send the water. I got a call that my American breast chicks had come earlier than I thought, so we just put them in the chicken coop brooder, but it was gonna get too cold, uh, and these were too expensive to take the risk, so I did bring them inside the house. They're expensive because they're supposed to be the best tasting chicken, and it's hard to get them. I had to wait five months for these chicks. All right, the yellow ones will be white. These little gray ones will be blue. And these that are black and white, I think they're just going to be black, maybe with a couple white spots or something. And then the stripy ones back there with all the colors, they're going to be splash, which is black with white splash on them. I think they're really cool looking when they're adults. I mean, clearly they're cute when they're chicks though. This is the new heater plate that we got. They go underneath it. It's kind of like being underneath mama. So that's why if they look cramped, I mean, they would be laid on by their mom. This is the new little water system that I got and they love it. These turkeys are working hard all the time, bringing in hay bales and stuff, never stops. harvested more spinach and it had a little bit of frost damage on it so I just gave the damaged pieces to the goats and we've been eating on the rest. Katniss does love her food and her dad calls her fat girl, but she does have at least one baby in there because her udder is filling up. So hopefully we have a baby lamb soon.
in preparation for the babies, I cleaned out her pen, and here that is for you to enjoy. Let's get a close up of that. Another unpleasant thing is castration, but he didn't make the standards, so I put blue coat on the back of him. It's an antiseptic spray uh, where I had to cut in. Anyway, he's castrated and feeling fine. The rest of them, other than the feeder guilt or female, have been sold. So that's what we're doing there is cleaning this one up to be sold. And the next weekend, we sold the other two. So we're doing pretty good in our pig business. Crockett has been a little more destructive and definitely more pushy, and we don't like that on our farm, so we're hoping it's just a little bit of teenage testosterone feelings going on, but I don't know. She made us wait a couple weeks, but Lucy finally had a baby girl and we named her Violet, in keeping with the Charlie Brown theme. There's not much in the garden, but in these hills, I've already planted our onion sets. We got this from our neighbor. So I assume the white ones are Texas super sweet because that grows best here. And then I've got two rows of red onions. I have reseeded the whole row of spinach. What I did was harvest that front section and probably a little bit of the back and then it froze. So it killed the whole plant. But this middle section I harvested later, it never froze after that, so it was able to grow back. That's what's supposed to happen, so I just reseeded it all. I filled in with the extra onion sets I had. I have um, onions from the fall. This one's gonna be huge. And then back here are shallots and then garlic. The strawberries have already started blooming, but those blooms are probably going to die with this semi-freeze that we have, but the plants will stay alive. <laughs> 